Okay, I am here to make potato salad. Um, I've already cut up my vegetables and such. Um, started cutting up the potatoes and the hard boiled eggs. Um, I'm using the tripod so I can show with two hands. Um, to peel the potato that's boiled with the skin on, you really only need to scrape um, with a butter knife. And I also like to cut up the potatoes with the butter knife. If you've ever had potato salad uh, where the potatoes are undercooked, um, that's a very bad experience. Um, so by cutting it with a butter knife in the palm of my hand, um, if they're undercooked, I know that before they go in. Um, if they were undercooked, I would probably put them in a bowl, cover with plastic wrap, and microwave them for a minute. Um, these are the hard-boiled eggs, which I cooked by just placing them in the water the potatoes were cooked in, leaving the lid on the pot, and let um, the water cool on its own. Um, I'm running out of daylight, so it wasn't completely cool as how I would normally do it. So this is a little bit less cooked than the result I normally get, but um, it certainly is fine. It's not overcooked. If you have like a little green membrane um, around the yolk, or a little thin green line around the yolk, you have overcooked your egg. Um, and if you boil eggs too quickly or for too long, the white turns into rubber. Um, so you never have those problems if you make the hard boiled eggs by just letting those eggs rest in water that's cooling. And as I said, if I wanted them a little more cooked, which I normally would, I would have just left them alone a little bit longer. Let them come like all the way up to room temperature. So one of my potatoes is already oxidizing, turning color a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get some mayonnaise on these potatoes to kind of put a stop to that. Kind of irritating but I was running around doing multiple other things instead of just paying attention as I went. Okay so that's not nearly enough mayonnaise but it should be enough to stop the oxidizing. Okay so um I used these Polish dill pickles. I actually bought these at Big Lots just because they looked interesting and they are sort of interesting. Um, they're kind of sweet and sour, which is, um, I don't know, it doesn't really fit into any of my normal uses, but I thought they'd actually be pretty good in potato salad. So I cut up quite a bit and that might be too much. But, um, so I'll reserve a little bit of that. This is um, a little more than half of a pretty small bell pepper that I diced up. This is less than half of a really big onion. And again, you know, for the sake of making a video, it's a whole lot easier to have too much of these things and not use it all um, than to have to stop and cut more up while you, the viewer, wait. Um, this is just two giant 
stalks of celery. Again, not all of it seems like an awful lot. Um, you could put any kind of mustard into potato salad. I have just a little bit of this Grey Poupon um, Dijon mustard. And um, I have found another brand I like better. So if I can get this in there, I can throw this away and clear out my refrigerator. So you don't need a lot of that. And again, I would rather go back and want to add more later than to use too much, especially this. It's very strong, almost like a horseradish um, flavor. So um, my mother always put sweet pickle relish in potato salad. And that's the only way I ever made it for a very long time. But I have since discovered that it's kind of fun to play with different different pickles. Whatever you got in the house. Um, this is sort of a magic ingredient. Um, Larry's seasoned salt is mostly salt um, with some sugar, uh, paprika, onion, garlic, turmeric. I think the magic um, is really the sugar, to be honest. I don't normally add sugar to anything, but I think just a little bit of it that they have in this stuff uh, complements potatoes very nicely. Okay, a little more mayo. I got this giant double-sized jar of mayo at uh, Sam's Club on sale for like $4. Refrigerator real estate. <laughs> so I am making this in a ginormous um, plastic bowl that does have a lid, so I could refrigerate it this way. Um, it will probably get transferred to a smaller bowl. Uh, I have just learned that Sometimes the hardest part about making a simple salad like this is you're trying to stir it in a very small container and that makes it hard. Okay, so there you are. You got some of all the basics. And now it comes down to the tasting. Plenty of salt, which the potatoes will absorb over time. I think it could actually use a little bit of sweetness. So mostly I'm just getting the juice from the sweet pickles. These potatoes are also going to continue to soak up mayonnaise. Um, I think potato salad by far tastes better the next day, but you should give it at least a couple of hours in the refrigerator, in the refrigerator for the flavors to come together. tomatoes with, or potatoes. Okay. It 
just tastes like a lot of potato and not much else at the moment. <clears throat> Which might be the way some people like it, but... I don't want it to be too bland. I don't want it to taste like mashed potatoes or something like that. Goodbye, Grey Poupon. I just hate having, you know, two tablespoons of something taking up space in my refrigerator. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Got lots of little green specks from bell pepper and celery. Um, I happen to have used six medium to large potatoes, three eggs. <coughs> um, you'll notice I don't actually measure any of this. Um, I could tell you half a bell pepper, but you might have a bell pepper this big, and you might have a bell pepper this big. So half of your bell pepper and half of my bell pepper is not the same. Um, again, you know, how big is anybody's potato? The eggs are large eggs. Um, and you could go heavier egg than this. Um, I don't really see any reason to do that. That's just me. If you like more egg, go for it. That's very good. So that's all there is to it. Don't overcook the egg. Don't overcook the potato. Don't cook, don't peel the potato before you cook it. You'll be adding water. Water really doesn't belong in potato salad. Um, if you cook the potatoes with the skin on in a heavily salted water, that boiling water is actually pulling excess liquid out of the potatoes. So you're getting the flavor of the potato. You probably are using more mayonnaise. Let's see how much I used. For this much potato salad, I used that much. So, you know, that's probably 40 cents worth of mayonnaise. And it's about 30 cents worth of eggs. And it's about 50 cents worth of potatoes. Uh, and a little bit of other stuff. So, if you're paying two and a half or three dollars for like a little pint plastic box of not very good potato salad at the grocery store. Um, it really, this doesn't, this doesn't take much time. The majority of the time that this did take, um, I was actually watching YouTube videos in the other room while the potatoes boiled. So it's very easy. Um, you probably have most of the items that you would need for this already in your house. Um, I do, you know, this is not necessary, but I do think that um, it's kind of a secret ingredient when it comes to potato dishes. Mostly probably for that little bit of sugar that's in it. Anyway, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.